Hello, guys. Welcome back to another morning English podcast. I'm Day. 大家好，我是卡拉，欢迎收听今天的早安英文。Mm-hmm. So day day after tomorrow is going to be Mother's Day. When was the last time you texted and call her? My mom. Yeah. Well, I call my mom weekly, but I remember last Mother's Day I texted her something really sweet. I told her, "You're my one and only mom, and I will always have a special place for you in my heart." Oh, <laughs> where did you get that from? The internet. I <laughs> just know. And that is exactly what we're gonna give you guys today. We're gonna help you with Mother's Day. Ah,、uh, today, 呢就要跟大家跟大家来聊一聊即将到来的母亲节啊，马上就要到这周天啊，所以呢，今天我们就来聊一聊这个话题。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。So first thing first, Mother's Day is on the twelfth of May，、mm-hmm. 就是五月一十二号。But it changes every year， 是吧？ Yeah. 每年都是不一样的，因为它其实是在啊、呃，就是。Uh huh. So Mother's Day was created first in America by a woman called Anna Jarvis in 1908, but it became famous and commercialized in 1914. Ah,、uh, 就是这个节日呢，最早是从 America America <laughs> 对从美国开始的，然后呢，一直到一九一四年的时候才开始普及起来。Well, yeah, that is the one we know. But before that, in the past, they had something called Mothering Sunday. Ah,、mm-hmm. uh, 之前呢，它叫不叫做 Mother's Day， 叫做 Mothering Sunday， which basically makes the Catholic Church seem like a mother, and they should celebrate it. Oh my God, that's too religious for me. <laughs> so enough of the history lesson. Now you guys know the history of Mother's Day. Let us talk about how Mother's Day is different all around the world, and what makes it different. 嗯，好，首先呢 ，around the world. Uh, around the world, Mother's Day is celebrated quite the same.、Uh-huh. 其实，呃，庆祝的方式大部分都没有什么太大的差别啊。The mother is showered with love and gifts.、Uh-huh. But until now, the only country that I saw that takes Mother's Day seriously is Mexico. Mexico takes Mother's Day like they've seen the World Cup. Like they have an actual anthem. For Mother's Day, for mothers. Ah,、uh, anthem 就是一首赞歌。他们有这么一首歌去赞美啊、uh, 这个母亲啊。Uh, 所以在墨西哥这个地方呢，他就比较把这个节日非常看得非常的 serious、mm-hmm.。那主要的不同呢 ，the only thing different is the dates. For example, in Mexico, Mother's Day is on the tenth of May, 五月十号。But in Russia, it is on March eighth. And also Arabs, you know, Alawaran,、mm-hmm. they celebrate Mother's Day on March twenty first, and in Thailand they celebrate it on August twenty first. Like I don't know why, but yeah, let's okay. So it really depends on the country's culture. Okay, so now that we have an idea about Mother's Day's history、mm-hmm. and worldwide culture. And we know that Mother's Day is a day when we celebrate mothers by buying them gifts and showing them a lot of love. That is exactly how we celebrate Mother's Day: gathering up all your family and you know just surprising your mom. Maybe just let her feel like a queen that she is. 对，那其实这一天呢，大部分的地方啊，比如说像我们都是啊、呃，给他们发个短信啊，或者打个电话啊，向他们表达你的爱和尊敬啊，然后呢，再给他们买一些礼物，基本上就这样庆祝了。呃，然后像刚刚在讲的，就让他 feel like the queen， 让他感觉自己就像女王一样。And of course, buying her gifts，、yeah. 就是要买礼物，这个非常重要。So I don't know if you don't buy the, your mother a gift, she 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 will not call you her son or daughter. I <laughs> <laughs> think that's what's gonna happen. 感觉好像背后有一个 story 啊。Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> so you might ask, what would be a good, perfect Mother's Day gift? Well, we got you covered. For me personally, I have conditions when buying gifts. First, I think the gift should be something that should be really useful and can be used daily. 
it can be expensive because since it's your mom and yeah if it's not expensive she's gonna hit you in the face <laughs> i wouldn't mind buying something really expensive for my mom so in your opinion what would be great gifts well jewelry is always the safest choice you know who doesn't love jewelry you can get a gold necklace with all of your family names initials on it so you know your mother is feeling oh they love me but it's gold <laughs> Yeah. 好的好的，那首先呢，第一个非常好的选项，因为女人嘛，所以你要送这个 jewelry， 就是珠宝。比如说，你可以送一个 necklace， 就是项链，然后呢，上面有你这个 family names initial， 就是你名字，呃，家族名字的大写首字母刻在上面，印在上面。所以这个呢，就非常的好看，又非常的有象征意义。Yeah, you're so feminine. Yeah, I'm so feminine. <laughs> But I think bags and other accessories are also good choices. Only if you know what your mother would like. Yeah. Hmm. This is very important. Or you can make something DIY. DIY is do it yourself. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Like you can make a picture frame, and you can put your, you know, your favorite mom's picture. Like you, you know, you you love this picture.、Mm. But for me, personally, my mom would be like, seriously, dude, you got me a picture of me. <laughs> In a, in a frame like a DIY. <laughs> I gave you birth. I gave you everything, and you gave me. A, a okay, calm down. <laughs> 那我们这个时候呢，还是在给大家强调送礼物最最重要的一个原则，就是你要想一想 what she really likes. Yeah, exactly. 对， exactly. 你要送她喜欢的东西。那刚刚当我们给的这个建议是什么呢？就是你可以 DIY 一些东西，就自己动手做一点东西，比如做一个相框，然后里面放上一些她最美的相片。Yeah, you know, I think that's a really good gift, but yeah, bad, bad memories. Ah. <laughs> 好的，然后呢 ，with gifts you have to add flowers and cake to the mix. Ah. 啊，送礼物的同时呢，你还要买上一束花，然后呢，要去啊，比如说可以买一个蛋糕。哎，康乃馨的英文要怎么说 ？What is that? Just the kind of flowers you always give to your mom on Mother's Day. Oh,、uh, and your you, teachers also. Oh, you mean carnation? Carnation.、Uh, How do you spell it? C A R N A T I O N. 对 ，so 当你要给自己的爸爸妈妈送礼物的时候，人家 gave birth to you.、Oh, so、yeah. don't be cheap. Yeah, please. 不要小气。From my personal experience. Don't. <laughs> Hello, Don't. We get it. We get it. All right. Yeah. So now we came to the last part of our podcast: Mother Day texts, or what would you write on a card or a gift card? Hmm. Ah. 对，最后呢，要给大家分享一些，因为我们在母亲节呢，你可能会要打电话，或者说发短信，或者送一张卡片，不管是何种方式，你都会需要说一些非常暖心的话。那这些话又怎么讲呢？给大家分享一些。首先，第一句 ，I'm so proud to be your kid。我非常荣幸，非常骄傲能做你的孩子。Raising me took a lot of patience. Thanks for hanging there with me. 然后接下来第二条呢，就是说养育我是一件非常需要耐心的一项工作，所以非常感谢你一直以来和我在一起。Number three, to mom with love from your favorite child. Ooh, that, that sounds really nice. That、uh, yeah, yeah. Number four, sorry if I drove you crazy sometimes. I only did it because I love you. 瞎讲。好，第四点就是说，啊，有的时候真的让你非常非常生气、抓狂，不好意思，对不起。啊，我这么做呢，是因为我非常的爱你。All right, here we came to the last part of the podcast, and I really want to say, if you're gonna get your mother a gift, make it as personal as you could be, because she's your mother and she knows you the best. And if you want to say something, you should be truthful and honest when saying, you know, these kind of stuff from mothers, like, oh, I love you. You, it should come from the heart. 对，那有的时候呢，我觉得我们中国人还是非常的 very shy when showing your affection、yeah, or your love. I think you really should show affection to the people who raised、okay. you, and、uh, they, I think they would show you back the affection. Let, let us show our affection to our fans. We love you guys. <laughs> We, we are so proud that you are listening. Yeah. 然后呢 ，I feel like we'll be less shy when we say say it in another language. Yeah, I think yeah. If you, you use you use Chinese to say it to your parents, it would be really really useful for them, and it would really make them happy. They would be like, 
啊什么感觉 ，but in their in their minds in their hearts, deep inside， 他们会觉得非常的 touched。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。OK， 好，那今天这期节目呢，我们就和大家分享到这里了。那祝天下所有的妈妈们都要永远的年轻，永远快乐，永远漂亮，好吗 ？Yeah, sure. Thank you guys so much for listening. I'm Dave. 我是卡拉，我们下期见，拜拜。Bye bye.